Hi, I'm Z Bliss, and this is another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. This is a continuation on the sidechain discussion, but we're going to talk about a, a, a very specific different thing. So regardless of how you're doing your sidechaining, one thing that comes across a lot is how you have to do routing for sidechaining. So my, my typical technique is that I will have a sidechain bus, where I'll have all my usual items, like the, that, the base, and like a harp lead, and then I'll put it all into a bus that I label side. And then in the sidechain bus is where whatever's happening is going to be doing that. So right now it's, it's the free balance. I'm automating it. So it's not technically sidechaining. It's actually just ducking. There's no side input. There's no extra processing of a, a different input. It's just straight up automation. And all of it's coming through there. It could be doing a little bit harder too. Uh, but a problem a problem arises when we do it like that, where we note that the lead is being ducked as hard as everything else, where typically you don't want that to be the case. So conventional wisdom would tell you that you need to have a different automation for it, a different sidechain profile, a different ducking uh, sort of motion. And you can do that. Uh, you can make another, you can like, take it out of the bus and make its own, have its own automation. And I've done that. Like for much more complicated things, I've, I've had that be a thing. And... While I'm not saying don't do that, what I'm saying is that there is another way, if you're lazy, like me. The other way is that you have your sidechain bus, and you just don't only link it to the sidechain bus. Like, you take a lead, and you also link it to the master. So now it's going into the master and into the sidechain bus. And then you can adjust how much of it's being sidechained and how much of it is going to the master. So by this combination, it is still being ducked, but not by not as much. And because I have compression on the master and everything is being somewhat limited together, it doesn't quite behave the way that you would think it would in terms of summing. The idea that we're adding a side chain signal to a, a, a regular signal would indicate that it's still going to be ducked at just as hard. It's just that it's louder now. And you, you wouldn't be wrong about saying that, but the thing is, though, is that because of the compression, what we've essentially done is created a floor. We've created an amount of it that's going to go into the master that no matter how much of it gets pulled away by the ducking, there will still be that much amount of it still there. So for lead instruments and things like vocals and that kind of thing, this would be very usable because this means that these elements that are designed to be on top of stuff so that they're not being interrupted by, you know, uh, duck egg or whatever, they're allowed to be there and allowed to, to play through, and the, but you're still allowed to control how much of it still is being ducked. And all of this is still happening, and there's still just the one sidechain profile, the one ducking automation, the one bus. You don't have to make extra automation. You don't have to make extra profiles. You don't have to have extra ghost kicks or whatever you decide you want to be doing for your ducking on your track. You can have it all still be the same and, and get different profiles out of it for different things. Of course, if you want to have a different automation profile, which is to say a different time of automation, different intensities on the curves of that, then you will have to have a different profile. But if all you want to do is have it happen less on a particular item, then this is all you have to do. Pretty great stuff. And this is super great just because it's fast. You know, you don't have to have 11 different sidechain profiles. And you can just have the one, you save space. It's just all great for workflow purposes. Workflow purposes. Yeah. So uh, take that, go forth, and duck. Duck all the things. Yeah. I'm Seamless. This is Sock Academy. Enjoy your tips. Thanks, everybody, for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.